This is so cursed. Aw, uh, dude, I- ah! Yo, what's up, fellas? In today's video, Nick and I both tried to make FNAF games in 50 hours, and let me tell you, the results were absolutely cursed. The challenge was originally supposed to last only 24 hours, but quickly spiraled out of control. This is a great one, guys. Hope you enjoy. I think Nick's gonna take this very seriously. I'm not. <laughs> no way. You see this? Uh, this was like when I was happy and full of life uh, because the next few hours would be some of the worst hours of my life. And why? Uh, because I was just winging it. All I knew was that I wanted to make the most cursed game ever and I had the perfect cast of entities to do it with. However, one of my biggest problems erected itself out of nowhere. Enter in. Yep, you're in that right. If I'm memeing something, I'm memeing everything. And I wanted this map shape so bad. But there's a problem here. This is literally counterintuitive to every FNAF mechanic ever made. Like, wh what was my 2D cutout of Mark gonna do? Just like, start there and then run your shit? These are things I just didn't think about. And with the camera coming first in the playlist, I wouldn't figure any of this out until the next day. So with my game, I really wanted to hammer home the idea of having to utilize your cameras to actually complete the game. In the first FNAF, you can kind of complete the entire game without even touching the cameras. So a lot of the mechanics of the animatronics require you to look at the camera to understand what's going on. But before we can get to any of that, we're going to need some art for this game. And I'm deciding to go with pixel art for this game. It looks like I'm not going with pixel art for this game. What I will do instead is bribe my local Blender expert. If you just go out and get him a little bit of Chick-fil-A, he'll work for hours for you for free. Could I get two number three 12 counts large? Oh, but first on my way back, I gotta stop and get some cat food for my- Oh, look at that little guy, he's so cute. All right, and we're back, and there we go. The handoff is complete. Hey, idiot. Hey. All right, well, that wasn't too bad. That only took four hours. Oh my God, I gotta get cracking on this. So what I'm gonna do is utilize some placeholder assets while he's working on animating and modeling all this stuff I need. So in my game, I'm planning on having three different offices that you enter between to stop the animatronics. But to start, the easiest way to build the foundation would be to start with one office. While my friend Kick is working on all these assets, a lot of my art is gonna end up looking like this blank wall behind me. So while we start off in my blank hellscape here, what we first gotta do is the door system. You program it, you hit button, door close. Awesome, great, we're done. Now we begin working on cameras. Again, I don't really have the assets yet, so cam one, cam two, you know, all the numbers. Now with this, I'm gonna do something that the gamers like to call stealing other people's content. If Scott Cawthon already has a perfectly good camera flip animation, why don't I borrow that for my game since we've had such a limited amount of time to do this shit. I do not condone stealing people's art. I'm just doing this because of the time restrictions. The office a la back rooms. With my favorite Mr. Beast video pulled up on one monitor and, and my stimulation pulled up on the other. <laughs> Complete with everything a gamer needs like Mountain Dew, a Rammy plushie, Gar phone, posters of my two favorite movies, and a flag of Sal that I literally brought in from my room in real life, and you have the most cursed office a FNAF game has ever seen. But the rest of day two would not be so fun. He's gone, now they're both here, perfect. Then Mark will probably leave, then Schlatt. Great, and Mark. Well, that's not good. As a result, we decided to extend the challenge one more day. We got 24 hours left. I definitely probably cannot do this for more than another like eight to 10 hours. Well, it seems like Kick is starting to wrap up some of those designs, so let's discuss what the animatronics are. So for this game, I'm calling it Five Nights at Green Cats. Why Green Cat? Because that's my username on everything. I came up with it when I was six. This also allows us, since it's named Green Cat, to have different colored cats, and that's gonna be the different animatronics. This way we don't have to model like seven different animatronics and instead can reutilize the design and just change the colors. So let's talk about the mechanics of these funky little guys. The first threat we see here is yellow. Yellow works exactly like Bonnie in the first game and just comes down this left hallway. Red and purple is where things start to switch it up. At the beginning of the attack cycle, they will swap between each other at random. If red is coming down the ball pit, you'll have to close the door on him. If purple's coming down the ball pit, when he gets to your door, you'll have to shock him. That's why this button's a little different. That also forces you to check the cameras to see which one's there. Isn't that, is that, that's what I said earlier, remember? And that's where 24 hours comes in. Can you believe that? I got one night done in 24 hours. This was the original end point of our challenge, is we were just gonna do 24 hours. No, that's just like the first night. Days three and four were grueling. Mostly asset creation and struggling with tutorials. How did Scott do this, actually? 
Like, I have such a newfound respect for this guy. He was probably a god-tier game maker the whole time. No wonder he struggled making games. He was making it with software that wasn't made for people. However, one question started to creep into the back of my little mind. What was the lore of my game? Why were Mark Speed, Schlatt, and Sniper Wolf trying to breach your cozy little backroom's home? Actually, Sniper Wolf makes sense. But what about everyone else? Why, why was Schlatt the main character? At the end of day four, I had no answers for any of this. And with only three and a half hours on day five, I had to go demon mode if I was gonna get this game done. And on day five, the greatest story ever to be made was written. Think Oedipus and the Odyssey. Think Shakespeare if he was Einstein. Think Paddington II. And it all began with this intro cutscene that I was able to make in only 45 minutes. Are you serious, man? It's your first week and you can't do the one fucking thing I asked you to do. All I wanted was wax for my balls. My monkey's balls. The store's like five minutes away and it's been three hours. <laughs> traffic? What, what, what do you mean traffic? It's literally a block down the street. <laughs> Don't use that tone with me. <laughs> with only two hours to go, the rest of the story became clear. With the help of AI... That Matt Pat's closet? It, it's a recording it in there? It so good. Schlatt would call you each night to help you while having whimsical things to say. And at the end of the game, you'd be fired from Gamersubs for not waxing Schlatt's balls good enough, and it'd be Jover. All that was left to go was putting everything in, and the game would be complete. So the final mission is to have the third night have all three offices included, right? So far we've done the left office, so I'm moving on to the right office, but what I've decided is because technically in the left office you have to deal with three animatronics even though you only deal with two at a time and in the right office you only deal with two animatronics I've decided to switch night one and night two around so everything we did so far that was night two everything we're about to do is night one and hey let me tell you it's, it's gonna be pretty easy so all we gotta do is our good buddy blue over here he works exactly like Chica in the first game which works exactly like Bonnie, which works exactly like Yellow does. You just switch what cameras it's switching, and then it's all Gucci. And now the new unique mechanic here, that, you know, that's my guy, Pink, on the right over here. He's gonna be on the merry-go-round, and on the merry-go-round, he's gonna spin every time he moves, and he's gonna say a little voice line when he moves. When he's facing in this forward position towards you, that means his next movement he does will be right to your door. Boom, another mechanic where you have to look at the camera. The other thing we gotta do here is the wing offices have different camera system than the middle office and each other, right? On this side, you can only see camera seven and eight, and on the other side, you can only see camera two and camera three. But we gotta program that in. We gotta make it so that it's a different camera object and all that, you know, BS. That's definitely not gonna come bite me in the ass in about, you know, 10 seconds editing time here. Dude, I think that's it. I think that's everything for this night. We got night one, we got night two, we got night three. It, sh it should just be as easy as copy pasting everything over, right? It shouldn't be that difficult. Why must I make things more complicated? There's so much stuff I have to do here. I gotta make it so that you can switch between the doors and then, okay, okay, well then when you switch between them, you gotta hide the objects and that's an annoying pain in the ass. And then also there's a vent in the middle room and you gotta make it so that you can look up at the vent and that's awesome. And then you gotta make different office states. And then also when you switch between those office states, you gotta make it so that you can't click the other buttons because otherwise you can click buttons across rooms and you're not in that room. You can't, you can't close that door. You're not supposed to be able to. And then also things are showing up when they shouldn't. You know, there's a light up there and I don't, I don't want to mess with the light up there and the, the vent isn't closing. It's not even playing animation and it doesn't even play an animation of the final version even though i have an animation there and it should work and it's just i don't get what's going on i just uh, is there so much stuff that's going wrong and i don't know why i did this well i would say it's about time we wrap this up so let's explain the last two animatronics first we've got my version of foxy which is lime he sits in this little curtain how is he different well he decides either left or right and he will run down that de designated hallway and then we also have the titular character, Green Cat, who's a sussy little guy, isn't he? Wouldn't we would you say he's a sussy little guy? Because he crawls through the vent above you. Jump scares. I've had one jump scare, uh, and I've been utilizing it as a placeholder, but now I'm going to replace all the other jump scare animations. Here, they're playing all in front of you right now. Whoa, isn't that scary? And with a jump scare, you also need a jump scare sound effect. Now, I found an old clip of Josh when he was uh, playing Phasmophobia, and this is what it sounds like. So then we take that clip and we turn it into this. 
And awesome, you got your sound effect. And then finally, how's MatPat gonna make a video on this if it doesn't have any lore? So we added some lore. It has stuff about children and adults and robots and, and that's it. It's, it's exported. My game's done. And now we're gonna play it. What is this, dude? Oh, hell no! Oh! oh, God. Do I look at him? Oh, God. I never actually played FNAF. <laughs> I'm a fake. Oh, God. Oh! All right. <laughs> he's gone. Oh, he's getting he's getting close. That little merry-go-round. You can open both your doors right now and be safe. I'll tell you that much. I don't want you to die on night one. <laughs> you know, that's embarrassing. There's a really good chance I die on night one here. I have a feeling you didn't listen to the phone call that closely. He said, he said uh, on the right, someone shows up. If you lied to me, Nick, I swear to God. I'm not. I'm, I programmed the game. I'm telling you the <laughs> truth. All right, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to sit here and coddle. <laughs> that's I'm closing it. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, God. Oh, God. from the right blue comes from the from the right but apparently also comes from the left what is this button now i can't turn it off all right hey welcome to your second night hey the middle office is still down for repairs so tonight i'll have you posted up in the left office and get you fully acclimated to it what? tonight you'll have to worry about yellow up there on the stage who is that i wish i had josh proofed this a bit more i i'm feeling targeted in this moment and he doesn't like shock so i don't even know what the fuck i'm supposed to do with that um, I guess just let him kill me. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh! That's a good sound, by the way, for that. Got it. Oh god, I'm running out of power quick. Okay. What the fuck? Why is he still there? Alright. I'll take so, it. So, that's one of the bugs, by the way. You're gonna figure that out? What the f what do you, okay, well, I, I guess I'm in front of our Duracell battery now. Dude, I'm not gonna, I, there's no way! Nick, I wouldn't be able to do this if I was, uh, round, 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 the wheel will spin. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, bucko. Uh, yeah, well, this is the first night I lose. You beat this, you just said, too? Yeah. Oh, dude, I- Ah! Motherfucker! This is actually- This is very fun. I don't think my game's gonna be fun. I hope it's funny. To a point. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I think my game's gonna yeah. be very boring, if anything. But that's okay. I don't know. Oh. Dude, that is a tough- This is a tough-ass game, dude. Come on! Do something! Anything right now would be nice. I don't care if I lose. <laughs> Are you gonna make it through? Oh, I hit it. I hit it too, and it didn't let me do it. Well, I'm probably gonna die here. Come on. I got two of them. Right as he was about to leave. What is the chance of that, man? Nice, man. Good stuff. Good stuff, dude. That is incredible. Do you have like a like an end scene at all or anything? Or... No, no. That's that's you just beat the night. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was worth waiting for the cutscene. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Did you end up in the back room? <laughs> Look, man, you gotta live there alive, all right? 
If I lose an employee in the back rooms, I'm going to have to go back to making Minecraft SMPs to pay off the lawyer fees. And no one wants to see that. <laughs> Grab your mom's iPad, let's take a look at the cameras. Isn't this guy a fucking millionaire? I mean, solving the FNAF lore totally fine with no loose strings is incredible, but... Could he record anywhere else? I think... I think he's just rambling. Alright, let, let's move on. Go to camera two and holy fuck, what is that thing? Is that Markiplier? Get those lights off! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's so cursed. <laughs> See? Yeah. <clears throat> Micro Wolf's docking HQ. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Do you like my uh do you like the bean clock? <laughs> Get those lights off. Yeah. Dude, this this whole thing is cur <laughs> <laughs> The more you look at it, the worse it will get. <laughs> Dude, I love your 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 iPad animation so much. <laughs> and the fact that it's got like the stock shit on it. <laughs> no, I have no idea if night two is gonna work. Are you serious? <laughs> but one can break. Hey man, this is enough footage right here. <laughs> oh, dude. You made it. It froze for a second. I was like, did it just crash? Grubhub Parks give you oh deals on the food you love. <laughs> the kind of deals that make you boogie. <laughs> dude, did you enjoy that? <laughs> yeah, is that it? Oh, okay. You, you had a mid-roll ad. Sorry about that. Put on the helmet, put on the helmet. No, she got you! <laughs> if you go Alright. <laughs> no game sense! <laughs> Alright, hit continue, I hope it works. Dude, if it doesn't, I'll just beat night one again. Oh my god. It Did didn't fucking work! work. <laughs> You're kidding! Okay, oh. no, we're good. Okay, well, listen kid. Once she gets done with a hard day of stealing other people's content, she's gonna try to dox you. Believe me, she will, and she'll face no repercussions. What you have to do is stop her from getting into the mainframe. See that cute little fella? Cute, cute, cute old Tamagotchi guy? Yeah, I, I, I've been told that's Ularu, destroyer of worlds, Tamagotchi. All right? Just, just understand that. Take it in. And what you got to do is you have to press on the buttons to keep the water from drowning this Tamagotchi. He's named him Daniel. Named Daniel. So if you want to call him that, that's fine. But uh, just make sure he lives. That's uh, uh, that's all you have to do. Hello? Hello? <clears throat> On behalf of Gamersounds Inc., we would like to inform you that you've been fired. You, quote, did not wax the monkey's balls good enough. It looks like five-year-old coconuts are sitting down there still. End quote. And now, here's a special and personal message from our CEO, Jebediah Schlatt, to you. If you want to challenge this in a court of law, fuck you. That's the end of the game, man. That's pretty good. I love your lore. This was an awful idea for a video. I don't, who came up with this shit? Yeah, this was a torture, actually. It was supposed to be 24 hours. It was supposed to only be 24 hours of my life, Nick. 